Major tech companies are slashing their workforces, announcing significant layoffs, leaving employees scrambling, strained, and stressed. Amazon, Meta, Netflix, and Lyft are among the growing list of tech companies laying off workers as digital advertisers are cutting back and rising inflation curbs summer spending. Amazon is set to lay off 10,000 people, about a 3%. That's about 3% of its corporate employees as soon as this week, and this would be the largest layoffs in the company's history. Tessa White, a career navigation expert known as the Job Doctor, is here to share tips on how to avoid being laid off. So first of all, welcome. Second of all, avoiding being laid off is actually something you can do? You can if you plan it enough in advance. You certainly can. So what exactly do you plan for? How do you plan to not be laid off? Well, the first thing I would suggest to people is you get uber focused and uber focused on the projects that you're trying to complete and measurements that you're getting from the company, because that has a, to, a dual effect. First of all, it's going to increase your resume and your resume will look better to have those professional highlights in the event you get laid off. But it also gives you momentum in your current company to show that you're knocking off the things the company cares about the very most. So figure out what they care about and be the best at that. That way you make yourself indispensable. Is that right? Absolutely. So is it possible to be layoff proof? Because that seems like a great idea, but I, it's almost like none of us are irreplaceable, right? Nobody's irreplaceable. That's very true. But you you build momentum in a company when you get results because that is the currency of a company. And when you can not only get results, but tell the story to your manager about the results that you're getting through proof points, data that you're sharing, showing that you're moving the needle, that is the best way to recession proof any career that I know of. And that advice works across every industry because it's it's all dependent on what your industry wants, what the measurables are, what the uh, KPIs are. So let me ask you this. Um, sadly, some people already know they're going to be laid off or they know that they're just in a sector that is going to be uh, de-emphasized in their company. So how do you prepare yourself for an upcoming layoff, assuming that you are going to be laid off? If you're at risk, I think there's a few things that you need to do. One, start getting, I call them LinkedIn style references for your resume, one to two sentences from people that you've worked with in the company. That will build a better resume if you need it. And the other thing I would do, if it's imminent and you know that you will be affected by layoffs, this is not a strategy to do if you're not sure, but you should maximize cash. Make sure that on your payroll deductions that you've taken out your 401k just for one pay period and that your tax deductions are lower so that you can maximize that last paycheck. Uh, and lastly, uh, if someone is laid off, um, how is the job market out there? For most of this year, we have seen there's two jobs available for every one person that wants one. What's the job climate like out there now if somebody is looking? It's good for those who can show their value to a company. What value can I bring to the company? How can I make a difference? One of the problems we've had with quiet quitting is people tend to work on, you know, the lower priority items without having that uber focus on the things the company cares about the most. And every company I know would take a good enough worker who d works on the right things than a really hard worker that doesn't prioritize the most important work. If you can do that, I think that your job or your career can be recession proof. Uh, that is Tessa White. She's the job doctor with some advice about not being laid off and what to do <laughs> if you are. Uh, Adrian, she keeps saying Uber, and I kept thinking um, when I was jobless, I did Uber. Okay. And that's not the context in which she was talking about. She's talking about being Uber focused and Uber whatever. I was thinking about uh, signing up for Uber. Oh man, <laughs> that, was a, that was a dark time for me. Well, you know, because you have to do what you got to do. Don't look at it as a dark time. It's you know? true. It's true. Keep you got to do what you got to do to keep support that the family. grind on so that you have some sense of confidence, especially if you are laid off. Surprisingly, just get a job anywhere. I don't care where you have to go. I've done it. You've yeah. done it. Yeah. So Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.